Yo, what's up, guys? In here, and welcome back to the Road to Glory. Um, today we've we've actually got we've got a lot of um, me completing SBCs, and we've got some gameplay for the first time in about f five episodes. So there you go. Um, bad news before we start off this video is um, <laughs> I for I forgot to register for Foot Champions this weekend. So yeah, there you go. But um, <laughs> I don't know how I forgot, but I did. So, um, great. As you can see here, we completed the 89 Cavani because number one, it was cheap, and it's and number two, it's quite useful for either icon swaps or if I want to, if I need a high-rated player for an SBC. So I thought that it was a pretty decent SBC and very decently valued. Um, for an 89 rated card. Now he might not be the best, but he can maybe do a job if I need him to for a league and first to own squad. And then the next SVC we do is the Road to the Final Diego Carlos. And just by looking at his stats, he reminds me of um, Militao, which is a good thing. And then the second good thing is it's an upgradable. It's an upgradable. Uh, it's an upgraded. I can't speak today. Upgradable card. There we go. And uh, Sevilla. I'm pretty sure. Don't have the best. I have not the best team in the next round of the Europa League. So he's guaranteed an upgrade, and I think it's to an 86. I'm pretty sure. So um, that's that's always good to look forward to. And also, if he does get an upgrade and turns into a beast, we can easily link him to Paulinho, PK, Alba. Uh, the, only the only trouble I'll have linking him with is uh, De Gea, which, later on in this video, we'll see, we get an upgrade on De Gea by completing his footmas card. Um, for nothing, to be honest, I, don't, I think I only spent maybe 10k on him. So, for me, that's great, but I don't know what to do with, the other, with his other card, so we'll, come, we'll uh, come to that bridge when we cross it. So here, Diego Carlos, 80 pace, 80 defending, 84 physical, decent card, and he's a, I think he's six foot one, six foot two. I'm gonna check right now. Um, Diego Carlos is six foot one, so same as Militao, I think, or it might be an inch taller. Cause I'm, I have a feeling that Militao is only six foot. And he is at the same height. So, they're pretty identical cards. Next SPC we do is the old firm debate. And you might think that I'll take um, the 84 James Forrest for this one. But I decided to go with Ryan Kent purely for the reason that he has 5 star weak foot with Forrest having a 3 star. and uh, Which gives me a range of... Uh, Places I can play Ryan Kent um, because I don't have to satisfy the needs of his uh, right foot. So there we go. And funny thing is about him is he's now basically my super sub because I don't think he's got a goal contract. Well, he's got an assist. He's played four games for me off the bench. He's got one assist, no goals, but he makes an impact. He does make an impact with with his high agility, high balance, a uh, good dribbling. Decent, uh, decent shooting stats. Good, good, very good pace. He's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to compare him. He's actually pretty good. And if I wanted to start him, I could just get a strong link with him with um, Ian Wright. So many ways I can get good links with him uh, to get him like a big shooting boost. Because I've currently got a marksman on him, which does his shooting, dribbling, and physical. So. Good card, and also Rangers got could go through, which will get if, if they do go through, he goes up to an 84. So I can't I can't see anything wrong with this card to be honest. Um, now we've got division rivals uh, rewards, and as usual, absolutely nothing that I can remember. Ah, <coughs> oh, still I'm still ill, still ill, but. Yeah, nothing as usual for division rivals. So I guess we have something else. I guess I'll try and find something else to talk about. Um, 
Oh yeah, the new season. So, if you haven't seen the new season, it's only 20 levels this this uh, season. And you have the choice at the end of Mishi Bachiwai or Ivar and Perisic. Now, I don't know who I'm going to take out of these two, actually, because they're both pretty decent cards. Um, Bachiwai, 5-star, 4-star, same as Ryan Kent, so he can be pretty decent. And then Perisic is also 5-star, 4-star, so... I'm not sure how to who to take out of them actually, so we'll have to cut. Well, we'll have to decide when we get the opportunity. Um, and also the Santi Cazorla card, which has secretly got a skill moves boost. His his normal card has four star skill moves, and his footmas one in the objective is five star, which is um pretty pretty good. It's a decent card as well. Apart from his pace, very good cam. And to be fair, playing him at camp, you could probably get away with him with his pace being so low. But um, with Cazola as well, we could even fit him into the team with uh, Alba and then Ian Wright and uh, Guardiola giving him links. So we could easily fit him in as well. So it could be a decent card when we get him. Very decent card. Um. I don't really know where to go from here because the rivals rewards are still atrocious. So, um, I don't know because obviously, I, I, uh, just it's FIFA. Uh, I mean, to be fair, since last video, EA have um, improved footmas, in my opinion. Uh, currently, right now, it's been an hour since they've been released, and and it's a, currently an 85 Fairland Mendy, who looks disgusting. But EA, of course, being EA, you have to submit an 84 rated squad and two 85 rated squads. So, hmm. And then also they've got Davinson Sanchez 85, which is a decent card, and he's only an 84 rated squad. Then that's for me, for me, that's decent, decent value. It's not the best value, but it's decent value. And talk about terrible packs. We've got a board here in the in this pack. I can't remember who it is. Gondo one. Um, I don't even know if he's still in my club actually, <laughs> which is the funny thing. Because um, got these footmas SPCs. I doubt he'll be in the club actually. No, he's not. <laughs> so um, his his appearance in my club was short lived. I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, and then the next thing I can definitely see here is me, ah, uh, here's, here's where we submit Gundogan, actually, so it's for the David De Gea, so we submit my 85, uh, Sillerson, I mean, he, he wasn't, he was just sitting around in the club, so I might as well just use him, because I'm not going to use him for anything else, and then De Gea, so the funny thing about De Gea, well, actually, that's not funny, his footmas card has actually had a decent upgrade. Now, if I could, I want to compare his stats quickly. So, to here, as my EA servers are going mental, so I can't even, I can't even compare. But I'm pretty sure it's like two diving, one handling, two kicking, two reflexes, one speed, and one positioning or something. So it's a decent upgrade, and I think it was worth it. And to be fair, I can notice the upgrade in game when I play with them. And talk about in game. Here's some gameplay. You haven't seen this for about five episodes, so here you go. Um, just a, some division rivals gameplay. And um, my front. I'm currently playing a four-two-two-two in game. I've got Ian Wright and Jonathan up front, and then I've got uh, Wilfred Zaha at right cam, and then Paulinho at left cam is doing decent at that left cam, to be honest. But um, the front two of Ian Wright and Jonathan are just beasts for me. Um, especially Jonathan. Actually, I want to see the. I want to go through the records with them. I mean, this guy was weird. He quit after one goal, which was very weird. Uh, so, be, so are my records with my players so far? This team was really weird as well. Uh, lucky to come up against it, I guess. But uh, Jonathan's currently, I've played 20 games with Jonathan, he's got, he's got 23 goals, 9 assists. So, very good return from him, and then Ian Wright is the same, 21 games, 21 goals, 12 assists, so. Um, Ian Wright's got one more goal contribution than Jonathan. Um, I 
don't know what Zaha's playing good at the right cam actually. Uh, he, that suit that position kind of suits him. And then Jonathan, of course, just absolutely wrecking this guy, turning him inside out and finishing it brilliantly. And then um, he is a monster. He is an absolute beast. And I am really enjoying him. And for the amount of coins it cost me to do him, brilliant. And the same with Ian Wright. And them squad and me sitting through all 25 and then squad battle games in one day was worth it, I think, for me. Um, so, next game we play is a, it's a uh, Bundesliga and uh, Serie A hybrid. Well, not Serie A, more Juventus, uh, Piemonte Calcio hybrid. Oh, God. And then uh, Ian Wright, of course, is doing, doing what he does best. And then Jordi Alba popping up at the back post with a goal, which was uh, pretty funny. Uh, and that is currently helping me out with an objective. And I don't know what it, I think it's week one bronze because I need to get one more goal with a La Liga player. So I need to somehow get that done. But um, if, if I'm being honest, I'm not even I'm not really playing FIFA right now. I'm actually playing Pays because it's free. So there we go. And I've got a front three on Pays of Ronaldo, Suarez and Messi. So it's quite, it's pretty fun. Um, and here Paulinho just selling the guy, chipping it in, and Zaha with a very good header actually. And that'll make that game 3 now. And then just a little bit later on here, about five minutes in the game time, Ian Wright slots it through. Jonathan can just power it ahead and then absolutely leather that past the goalkeeper to make it 4 0. Um, the guy, this guy does pull one back though, uh, straight away from kickoff, just before half time. Get it, gets it to Marco Royce and then into Emery Chan of all people to put that home. And then second half we just, uh, I, brought, I brought on Kane at that left cam and then Jonathan again, an absolute beast. Um, making it 6-1 and then the last goal is, um, oh wait no that wasn't the last goal of the game, ended 6-1. Because he quit after an offside, so pretty good game, pretty good team so far, and I'm really enjoying the team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.